Hello and welcome to Brandy's Poetry Corner. With apologies for being out of sync with myself, but I don't really know what to do about it. But then hopefully what you want is to hear me read the poem and you're not really bothered about what I look like. Um, I decided this week it was grey and as you can tell by the colour on this recording and I thought I would do some comic poems. This is also because I found this book, The Nation's Favourite Comic Poems. This was published in 1998, so the nation might have some new po comic poems that they love, but or we love, but um, there's some lovely, silly poems in here. I'm going to start at the beginning with A. I'm going to go, go from A to E on this set of poems, um, because the authors are all in alphabetical order. And I'm going to start with a poem by Alan Arberg, author of many wonderful kids' picture books and all sorts of things. Um, and this is a poem about somebody I would regard as a dreadful teacher. It's called Please, Mrs. Butler. Please, Mrs. Butler by Alan Arberg. Please, Mrs. Butler, this boy, Derek Drew, kept copying my work, miss. What shall I do? Go and sit in the hall, dear. Go and sit in the sink. Take your books on the roof, my lamb. Do whatever you think. Please, Mrs Butler, this boy, Derek Drew, kept taking my rubber, miss. What shall I do? Keep it in your hand, dear. Hide it up your vest. Swallow it if you like, my love. Do what you think best. Please, Mrs Butler, this boy, Derek Drew, keeps calling me rude names, miss. What shall I do? Lock yourself in the cupboard, dear. Run away to sea. Do whatever you can, my flower, but don't ask me. Thank you. For other poems read by me, look me up, Brandy Pearson, on YouTube.